Good morning. Um, this is Daniel Lake. Um, greeting you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I'm one way in your cool. Uh, recording the white new crew, finding clear with ya. The near Sunday, then the dumb. Uh, Sunday, then the bee. Need to bind it, uh, which I got more. Uh, it seems to be video can I promise it will be short. Uh, it is my idea of reaching out to those who may be struggling. Uh, Kaji in our community are not even one entertaining it, and I understand. Uh, community Danon Kowin are very passionate about politics. Kwanon Kowin are very passionate about sport. Uh, if I was talking, I is sport in a German, and Kanon Kowin die again. Not how uniform team could get Kanon Kowin die again. But the Kaka Kadel will be there for actually very important. Compare to a simple message in a Ramon awake, the Bobe from my heart. Uh, what the Bible got on Burodia, Burodia, John, no word of knowledge. Burodia, John, no word of knowledge. The Word of God encourage us uh, to support each other, to mentor each other in the Word of in in, in in the Word of God in the Bible. So, I consider myself um, as somebody who need to be mentored in our community. I also consider myself a mentor. I can be a mentor to somebody. Everyone need a mentor and everyone could be a mentor to somebody. A 15 year old could be a mentor to his younger brother. We all need mentors. So this message is not because, you know, I want a title. Um, it's not because uh, I know everything or I am perfect in my life. No. On the contrary, it's actually because there are things that I found in my life that if somebody had taught me or had warned me, maybe I would have not done them. If I had a mentor in my life, maybe uh, I would have avoided some of the mistakes that have caused me so much grief in my life. And so as a Christian, as an elder in Dinka community, uh, เอ่อปัจเจปัดพีดิอะเรเอ่อเอ่อเนลิจิวอจอลฟุกเงยเอ็นเมจิกูเมจดัวเยจาเรคคอกไนซ์เดตูเวนินเนยอตินิเปียว
it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Whose head? Satan head. Okay? Your enemy may be driven by Satan. Somebody will hurt you. We'll talk about it a little. And then he finally said, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This message is applicable uh, in our communities and is also applicable in our marriages. You can apply these principles in your marriage between your husband and wife. If you are a husband like me and I am a child of God, I must love my wife. I must be sincere when I love her. I must not do evil. Because evil will always come into our mind and thoughts. Evil will come into our hearts as we, in our emotions, you know, and we want to afflict pain. God wants us to always be careful. The, the people in this world, some of us, we're quite we meet, quite we go with a chiran, jakan loiraj. But now that you have a wife, be careful that you don't allow Satan to mislead you. Be careful that you may hurt the very person, the very person that you're supposed to love. Satan has a way of misleading us, causing confusion in our marriages. Communication breakdown is a big way that Satan destroys marriages. When there's a big misunderstanding in marriage, when there's no more trust in marriage, when there's no more respect in marriage, those are symptoms that lead to destruction. So my brothers, when you find yourself in that situation, do not be proud. Humble yourself and get on your knees. Pick up your Bible and start seeking God's direction. Because those things happen before the, the, the real storm. Where are you think? Where are you? Here can you know me that what? Here can you know but there was a young boy who has been working on a school project for a very long time. His dad helped him. He spent many nights working on his project. It was a volcanic scientific uh, project, a uh, science project for the school. A time came that the, the project was finalized. It was beautiful and the mechanics of it were working very well. So the dad of this young boy was concerned that during the transport it might bust or break. So he, came, he went to the store and built a very good box, a wooden box. Dad was a little bit overzealous and he, he painted the box. Some of the colors the boy did not like. So when the boy came back from his school, he found his school his project inside the wooden box that his dad made. The boy said, thank you daddy, but he did not like the box. So after his dad left, he took the project out of the box and he put it in a, a, a very bad box, a paper box, instead of the wooden box. He didn't want his schoolmates to laugh at him. He took it to school successfully and then when time came for his presentation, other students went ahead and presented their stuff and he was like, oh, I'm going to beat them all. He was very proud. And yes, because he put a lot of work in it and his dad helped him. When the time came, he went and tried to pick up the box. Somehow something went wrong under the box. The box gave way and his project crumbled and fell in front of him. 
the boy ran out crying. He went under the tree and then he hit his head on the tree. Say, I should have listened to my dad. I should have listened to my dad. I should have listened to my dad. How many of us work hard to get married? And then we have these beautiful wives in our homes. Graceful, loving, kind. Only to crumble in our marriage. Only to allow pride and ignorance to break our marriage. When God, our Father, has already given us a wooden box. Direction. Very simple that any man can do. A caveman could do. But we let them slide by us. My brothers, Marriage is a good thing, it's a beautiful thing. But we let it slip very easily. Our wives come equipped with the skills of a manager. A manager is a person who sees into the future based on the situation that is at hand right now. When your wife comes to you with questions, with suggestions, do not push her away. In our culture, now, but the kind of can one, can one in, can look who in for in India. We cling to our own pride. We ignore our wives. And then they draw back from us. And they watch us fall. We also let Satan mislead us and make us that. Make us think that our wives are, no, are, are just becoming trouble, so it's time to go look for another woman. The voice of a, a woman at workplace become more sweeter than the voice of your own wife. When that happened, my friend, run. Run with all your feet. Like Joseph did. Protect yourself, your own soul. Because at the end of the day, it is you who will be hurt. It's not your wife. She's a victim, but God will heal her and God will hold her together. But you, you will convict yourself and you'll be convicted by the Holy Spirit. You'll be in pain. And there's no much, there's no worse pain in the whole world than watching somebody you love looking you in the eye and say, you hurt me. Five week a week, you have never heard a human being in your life. Kiran, you can't be a winner bitterly because of what you've done. But now you're looking at an innocent soul in front of you, bitterly crying because he broke your heart. When you find yourself in that situation, don't run. Don't run away. Quick fix, don't help. Don't run away and think that, okay, so let me go create another one. When your wife is more bitter at you at that time, that's where you need to stay with her the most. A betrayed wife will be bitter if she loves you indeed. A disappointed wife will be angry if she didn't love you indeed. She will yell at you, she will even insult you. Do not react bad, do not react negatively, and do not run away. Humble yourself and accept everything. Accept the blame, accept responsibility, and seek God for change. Restore your marriage. Bible tells us that with God all things are possible. A marriage can be restored. Do not look for an easy way out. It doesn't matter to let him You will always be ashamed of what you have done. You may pretend, but everywhere you go, you only have one wife that you can be proud of. King D do. King D do na lari en undo ni king kai king la. Na e king D do ni jal di arti ko bay lom. Yes, king la balap public king la. Le king a chot king king do yek. Even though chia wen do, even though it's not your fault. My friend, you're lying to yourself. You will always be ashamed, especially now. Don't think you're in me. 
you will spend the rest of your life trying to explain yourself how everything went wrong and you will make excuses after excuses. So make a decision, go to God. God is the creator of marriage and he's the one who created your soul. If he is the one who created you and if he's the one who brought that woman into your life, he will help you find a way to restore your marriage. Be patient. Do not be in hurry. It may not happen in six months. It, not, it may not happen in a year. It may not even happen in five years. A person, a preacher put it like this one time. When you find yourself in a broken marriage, serve your wife with all your heart. Even if there are no more benefits of marriage, even if you're no longer sharing the bed. Serve her like a person who is serving in a charity organization. Do everything to her that God would want you to do to others. Treat her with all your heart, respect. Treat her like your own sister. In the middle of bad treatment, yes, she will treat you bad because she is angry. She has been betrayed. She trusted you. My friends, I don't know if you will come to the end of this message like this, but I just want to share those with you. I was hoping it would be 10 minutes, but it's not. So let's leave it now at 17 minutes. Dini tong jeng jam. Dugu reji jol nerej. Dugu piat jol jeng nang wok. Pande na jenang dua na di derej. Inti ku nyalik. Inti ku bandik. That song, make it your prayer until God hears you. Do not give up. Do not quit. Do not quit on your love. Do not quit on the wife of your youth. God bless you. Until next time.